As the growth and use of cryptocurrencies continues to accelerate, so do its challenges. Disclosing vulnerabilities in even the best of circumstances can be tricky, and while the software community has developed norms and official procedures over decades of experience, cryptocurrency is still in its infancy and presents unique but relevant challenges to ensure security. Join us as we speak with Tyler Moore at the University of Tulsa to discuss responsible vulnerability disclosure in cryptocurrencies. The real promise of cryptocurrencies is I think that they can inject competition into the payment system that exists right now. And for cryptocurrencies, they have lots of bugs, just like any software. But what is lacking in cryptocurrencies are norms for how to responsibly disclose vulnerabilities. And so in this paper, we investigate several case studies of what's happened in the years since cryptocurrencies have come around and identifying some of the challenges that they face and how to, to deal with bugs when they arise. With most strengths come a form of weakness. In cryptocurrencies, this design is no exception and creates new challenges because of it. These software projects are decentralized by design. And this is touted as a security feature, but it also makes fixing vulnerabilities quite difficult because in this case, you have to get the agreement of a large majority of all the participants in the system in order to actually make the patch be effective. And this causes big problems. The second way is the nature in which cryptocurrencies work. They trust code above all else. And so we don't have the development of human processes to roll back errors in code in the same way that we do in other software projects. And so this creates significant problems because whenever there is a vulnerability that's disclosed, there aren't processes in place to fix it uh, without resorting to significant changes like rolling back the currency to a prior state that again needs everybody's agreement to do. While a general consensus to fix a much needed exploit seems easy enough, history has shown otherwise because of monetization opportunities. There's big pressure to develop new coins to try to essentially get rich quick and this creates software interdependencies and interdependent vulnerabilities when they're found. So to fix that, you have to decide who you're going to notify and that decision is not always easy, particularly because these vulnerabilities can be used for profit. You could carry out an attack where you make new coins and profit handsomely. And so want to tell, only tell people who you think will actually do the right thing. And this is exacerbated by the fact that many of these coins are all in competition with each other. So they naturally don't trust each other. Regardless if you're bearish or bullish on crypto, experts argue governance is the key reason holding back its true public acceptance. If cryptocurrencies are going to arise to mainstream adoption, they're going to have to fix governance problems like this. They're going to have to give assurances to participants that there's a way to fix problems when they arise. And there's a lot of open questions about how best to do that. And we need to direct our attention at that if we're going to have a future for cryptocurrencies five, 10 years down the road. With the fast growth in crypto, one might ask, what does the future hold? You know, what excites me most about cryptocurrencies and thinking about the future is trying to see if they can evolve from this novel technology that's a niche into a platform that attracts mainstream adoption. To do that, I think we have to deal with these significant challenges like responsible vulnerability disclosure. We need processes that can be developed and put in place so that these systems can be used and trusted by the broader population. And I'm really interested to see if this community can rise to that challenge. And it's very much an open question whether we get there or not, but I'm looking forward to seeing if we do. Find out more in Responsible Vulnerability Disclosure in Cryptocurrencies, a review article in the October 2020 Communications of the ACM.